Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard at an achieve level. And in this video, I'll be going over an example of a triangular distribution. In this example, Jack enjoys uh, watching YouTube videos and has done some research on the length of advertisements shown at the beginning of a YouTube video. It can be modeled by a random variable that takes on values between uh, 4 seconds and 45 seconds. The most likely length of the advertisement is uh, uh, 17 seconds. And then the question says, uh, using an appropriate probability distribution model, uh, calculate the uh, probability that two randomly selected advertisements are both longer than 35 seconds. So in this case, uh, we are already given uh, three parameters. The minimum value, which is four seconds. The maximum value is 45 seconds in this case. And the modal value, which is most likely, is 17 seconds and then we know that the length of advertisement is a continuous uh, data so once i put this information together then i know that the appropriate uh, probability distribution model that uh, will uh, mimic this scenario is a triangular distribution so we'll start by sketching the triangular distribution and here i have got a rough sketch and we know the um, random variable x is the length of the advertisement and then uh, the probability density function, uh, which is uh, f of x. And the minimum value was 4. The maximum was 45 seconds. The peak, which is the most likely value, was 7 seconds. And then the um, a value is 4, b. It's good to label these so we can use the formula to uh, calculate the um, unknown probability. And then the question says longer than 35 seconds, so that's our x value. And in this case, uh, we need to find the um, uh, shaded area of this um, section here, which is a right angle triangle. And uh, why I've shaded on the right hand side of 35 because it is longer than 35 uh, seconds, so it's between 35 and 45 seconds. Uh, so we need to find the height of this triangle before I can use the uh, um, area of uh, uh, triangle formula to find the shaded area, which will denote the probability. So we can find the maximum height, which is h in this case, and I will label the um, unknown height here as h dash. And then we know that the height, the maximum height is given by 2 over b minus a. I have done this um, proof in my previous video. If you haven't already, please uh, do check that one out. So we know that the area is given by half the base times height, and height is 2 over b minus a. And in this case, um, it's 2 over b. b value is uh, 45, so 45 take away a, which is uh, 4. We'll uh, quickly look at uh, the height. So height is 2 divided by 41. And that was uh, 0 0.04878. And 45 take away 4 is uh, 41. So 2 over 41, which is same as 0 0.0488, up to uh, 4 significant figures. And then uh, using similar triangles or f of x formula, we can find the h dash value, which is the height of the triangle that we are after. And in this case, I'm going to use the uh, similar triangles. If you want to use uh, the f of x function, uh, this will be given as in the formula resource sheet uh, during the assessment. So you can uh, use that. I'll show you this um, by using similar triangles. So we'll set up the equation by looking at the height of the triangle I'm after with its base. And then we've got the bigger triangle, which is formed by the base between C and B and the uh, bigger height over here so h dash over b minus x because it's between b and x so b minus x is equal to height h here over b minus c because the base is from 17 to uh, 45 and then we'll uh, now substitute these uh, numbers in so h dash is equal to uh, b minus x so b is 45 so 45 minus x which is 35 is equal to height h which is given by 2 over b minus a and we have already calculated that so it's easier to put that value over there so 0 0.0488 divided by b minus c so b is still 45 so 45 minus c is um, 17 
and then we can quickly simplify this so h dash of uh, 45 minus 35 of course is 10 and uh, 45 take away 17 is 28 so that simplifies to that and then i will find h dash by multiplying 10 on both sides and that will leave you with uh, 0 0.0174 now once i've found that remember this is not the probability this is the height of the triangle that you have got there then i will use uh, half the base times height to find the area and in this case uh, base is um, between 35 and 45 so it goes in there times the height which we calculated here so h dash was given by 0 0.0488 remember you will have minor rounding we've rounded this value if i'm using the calculator value so calculator value as the height was 2 over 41 times um, divide by 28 this gives you um, 5 of um, so this gives you um, 0 0.01742 two. and then if I go half the base times height so base was 10 for the triangle that we are after between 35 and 45 so 10 and half of that is 5 so if I multiply this by 5 I will get the area which is 25 over 287 and in decimals it's uh, 0 0.0871 is equal to 0 0.0871 remember this is for one advertisement but then if you look at the question it says uh, uh, calculate the probability that two randomly selected advertisements so two so this is for one advertisement so I will need to square this so multiplying by itself and that's for one advertisement and then if I square that I will get the answer for uh, two advertisements um, you can leave the answer as a decimal or a fraction so if you write it as a decimal this is same as 0 0.00759 once you've got that then write the answer in context the probability that uh, two randomly selected advertisements are both longer than 35 seconds is 0 0.00759. I hope this makes sense. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.